being able to play directly to camera in a comedic way uh, is is fun. Um, it, it definitely changes uh, the the approach. But I knew coming into the role that this was going to be lots of fun and just having a go on the day and taking big swings. And that nothing would ever be the same. The cast in general, you know, starting with Sam, obviously, and then Henry, and then, you know, Catherine O'Hara, and Brian Cranston, and Samuel L. Jackson, and, you know, Ariana DeBose, and it's, it's just, the list goes on and on and on. And it is because working with Matthew Vaughn is a privilege. Bad news for you. This is the only exfil route off the island. I think sidekick is a great word. Uh, and I don't, I don't take that in a negative connotation. I think Wyatt has uh, a very unique set of skills and he's kind of a, a jack of all trades. I would almost, almost, almost say a master of all trades, but just doesn't have um, Argyle. Oh, I, I absolutely loved it. I think Matthew is just so, like, his ideas just completely exceed all your expectations. Like, you think you know what's gonna happen and then it just completely flips the script. And, I think also what I love is just how generous he was with all his advice and just sitting down and explaining to me the different ways on how to get a better performance out of myself. So I just love the experience. It's my first time doing anything like this, so I'm super grateful to Matthew for, um, for giving me this opportunity. You and I, we're not so different. Agent Argyle. My character is just misunderstood. He's not as bad or as evil as people are talking about. Um, my character is delicious and vengeful and kind in some ways. Sorry, am I embarrassing you? I can't stop. I can't stop, won't stop. Dua Lipa, the sweetest girl, great dancer. Uh, apparently she's a huge rock star and I, did, I knew nothing about this. And I saw her on some billboards and I was like, oh, she's famous and she's really nice. That's not bad, bro. Did a great job. One, three, one, November, take one, eight camera mark. I had an opportunity to create another unique character, um, and Matthew's that guy. You know, he's he's trusting of me in a way that allows me to come and present something to him and said, okay, I want to look like this, I want to sound like this, I want to be this kind of guy, and I want to dress this way. And he trusts my instincts in terms of creating a character that's going to work inside of the kind of story he's going to tell. It's one of those movies that when you see the trailer, there's so much more movie left. We've been doing interviews for days and we can't talk about anything in the film because it's all plot twists and turns and spoilers. I'm really excited for the world to finally see it so we can have conversations about what they've seen. Matthew's approach to storytelling is unique in the sense that he's coming up with his own ideas. It's going to be fun, you know that much. It's going to be slightly mad uh, because that's who Matthew is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's going to be bold. And I think as a fan of, of storytelling and movies and being an actor myself, that's what I want to see. Just something as simple as a, a flat top and a high collared green velvet jacket. It's, it's a particular look. And that was just my character. And then to be able to blend that with everything else and create such uh, a synergistic, charming look for a movie is not easy. For me, there's something exciting about letting makeup artists, hairstylists, and um, costume and wardrobe do, do what they do and do it the best they can and then give me the look. This is something I would never wear, ever. Fix your snacks before the movie starts because you don't want to run out and not see and don't pause it. Pause it, not good. I like that the world is going to be able to see this because they're, they're going to enjoy it whether they, whether they can grasp all the nuance or not. 